Hey guys, Blue West Studio here showing you the Noob Tower Style. Noob Tower Style is a very effective strategy and most, most pros do not like it because it wastes, um, you basically camp out the whole game. But that's not how I do it. I just stomp people. But I'll talk about that later. So, basically what tower is is you just stack up on a cup on like blocks and after someone discovered that this was possible um well what did they do well this is what they did they put a building limit and that's why i made that second floor because i actually stacked up all the way here and you cannot build it's like wanted to show you that so anyways I am pretty much set for the feast this game only has seven players left and it started 14 minutes ago and as you could just see I am stomper kid and I did get a little stew because people just left mushrooms lying around so I actually got six stew I'm actually not going to use that to, I'm not going to eat my stew unless it's really necessary. Because I do have two apples in my inventory. Um, now there's only six players because someone died. And this guy thinks that the feast is coming up soon. Which is believable because the feast is coming up pretty soon. Considering it has started 15 minutes ago. The feast only start anywhere past um, 13 minutes. Now, 13 minutes is not very long. And it's been 15. So it shows up anywhere past 13 minutes. What I'm going to be trying to do is I'm going to try and stack over to the feast. I'm not gonna make a completely new tower. Thought I saw something. Um, not gonna make a completely new tower because that just wastes a lot of blocks and I think it's easier to just stack over because if like someone else comes, okay, see the feast is about to start. So I have to get back up to my tower. I'm like an idiot. Because what kind of idiot would fall? So, anyways, back to the um, gameplay. The feast is about to start. Um, I wonder how close it is. Hold on. Negative 38. Oh, God. Negative 92. Oh, shoot. That's like... I fear I might not have enough blocks. Well, I will, I just won't be able to gain any more height. By the way, this guy who just died is Vulture Kit, and I want to talk to you a little about Vulture Kit, because it's something worth knowing. It's a new kit, and this guy's saying it's the boss kit. Okay, liar, it's not. It's... It's... It has no use. You get a book and it shows you the death point. Like the death location, the killer of that person. So I guess you could go back and if they left some stuff there because their inventory was full, you can go get it. It's not that useful. I mean, I guess if you're tracking people, you could tr um, go to the place where the person last died. And then the killer might be somewhere around there unless he was hunting someone else. See, this guy says it's good for getting loot. Well, yes, because some people, hunters who kill people, have this armor. And so this armor... Oh. And so this armor, it... I mean, this inventory, these hunters, they just... They just leave stuff there because their inventory is full and there's... 
nothing they think is good. But when you're someone just camping, everything is good. Unless it kills you. So, it is quite a good camping kit. Because if you're in a tower, you can stack over there and hopefully before it despawns you can see it. And then, yeah. So now I'm probably going to be late for the feast, but I know there's going to be quite a bloodbath considering that there are three pros on the server. Raphael is camping in a dirt hole, I think, based on what he was saying. So I'm just heading over. That guy over there, I killed him because I'm just like that and I'm really awesome. Oh, okay, ready for the bloodbath. Oh, and there is no bloodbath. Oh god, there's gonna be one OP person here. Super OP person. Oh god, there's just one guy going through the chest, and this guy who said he was going to the feast, he's all like, I have no iron, but I'm going anyways. So now, he goes from no iron to full iron. Congratulations, bro. I think that's unfair. But he did have the nerve to go to the feast, so I'm just going to kill him. Stomp him, you know. Probably very alert. I'm more than a hundred blocks away. Hopefully he'll take his time looting the feast so I can get there and when he's full diamond I can just stomp him. Because stomper, when you stomp someone it does go through armor so diamond will not save you as I said in my warder win. Um, which wasn't too long ago. This, I didn't really intend to get this far, it's just for fun, I, I, I thought I was going to die really soon. But turns out I'm not, and no one is dying. Matt, Alex is just lo looting the feast. Oh! Okay, now there's a bloodbath at the feast. Oh no, I only see an enchanting table. Oh shoot, no! Rage. Oh. Oh. Okay, Raphael wasn't camping. I'm sorry, Raphael. Oh, dude. Did you see how many combos I saw on him? This guy is not a good PvP here. I could kill him if I had the same armor as him. I don't. And he has a teammate. Okay, well, good game, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. That was the final five. I thought I'd be able to stomp someone at the feast. I guess he was crouching. It didn't really look like it. But anyways, that guy had teammates, and he actually had two teammates because it was a guy with diamonds and this guy with iron behind him. So I probably wouldn't have won, considering I had no armor and, like, a wood sword, so. And, like, only six stews. He probably had an inventory of stews, but that's the disadvantage of towering, because you will not be able to get men much stew or PvP advantage materials. See ya.